Hey guys, RD here from ProTraders Network and today we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin USD chart on the weekly time frame. And yes, we had a flash crash just a couple of days ago, bringing Bitcoin from 52,000 to lows near the 40, near the $43,000 mark. So let's just take a look at the chart on the weekly time frame and see where markets, the, uh, where Bitcoin might go to from here. So basically, we take the lows here of around the 4,000 and we saw that price of Bitcoin since then had moved up to near 64,000 before it rolled over and we saw some support here around the $29,000 mark, right? So what are we gonna, where is Bitcoin gonna go from here? So basically, we, we use the 9 exponential moving average as our trend indicator and as you can see here, as long as price actually stays above the 9 EMA, price of Bitcoin may continue to the upside, right? So at this point here, you see that there is a close of the price below the 9 moving average after which it actually went up further and it created a lower high compared to the highs here. So this is considered a lower high and we had price actually moving lower and crossing below the 9 moving average again. However, recently, last in the last couple of weeks, we saw that price has, price has actually moved above and closed the above the 9 exponential moving average and it has led to a very nice move back to the upside. However, I drew the Fibonacci tool from the lows around 4,000 and all the way to the tops of around the $64,000 mark and we can see that the 78.6 uh, Fibonacci level is providing some resistance at that point, right? Let me just clear the chart first from all these markings and uh, let me just uh, put the markings here again for you guys so that you can see the 78.6 Fibonacci level basically provided some resistance at that point. And at this moment, we can see that price is testing the 9 moving average. Buyers came in at around the $43,000 mark and pushed up uh, the price of Bitcoin back up to around 46,165 at this current moment. So at this point, guys, we need to see, right, price basically uh, maintaining above the 9 moving average. If it does, and over the next couple of weeks, if we see price going sideways and not closing below the uh, 9 moving average, basically that is a good sign. So we could have something like this before actually we see test uh, prices test highs again. However, guys, if let's say this particular nine moving average, which is acting as dynamic support at this moment, is broken, then basically we might see the next uh, level of support at around the 618 uh, Fibonacci level, which is at the 41,662 uh, six to seven dollars, right? So this is actually a point where it, it held as resistance in the past, right? Once here and once here, and when it broke above this point here, we might actually see price actually retest this level before actually continuing to the upside. However, if this particular point is broken, then the next level of support might come in around this area, or rather the fifty, which which coincides also with the fifty percent Fibonacci level around the thirty thousand to thirty. $5,000 mark, right? So, of course, at this moment, uh, a lot of people are afraid, you know, of prices of Bitcoin going lower. And yes, like I've said, like, like I've said, this is an area that we will, will be looking for. This, first of all, of course, that the price stays above the 9 moving exponential moving average. And secondly, it stays above the 618 Fibonacci level, right? So, guys, at this point, it I can say that uh, uh, the market is actually consolidating and, and if you have already actually bought into Bitcoin, some most people are actually saying that they are going to hold. There are some people who actually buy more Bitcoin at this point saying that price will eventually move up higher, right? So you got to actually look out at all those uh, scenarios that I've just shared with you. The possibilities of it going further down to test levels that we uh, support levels or and whether it might bounce from there. Right. If it, this is a very strong trend, guys, we would see the the rebound actually happening next week. Even right, uh, basically price actually bouncing off the low uh, after touching this uh, nine exponential moving average, like we have seen here, right in February this year, as well as here in uh, in March, right. So we saw that at these two areas, basically when price retraced lower towards the nine EMA price actually moved up and same in many trades here 
and then it moved up again so we want to see something like that if let's say it happens that way basically we have a strong bull trend right which would mean that the next the all-time highs might be retested and we might even see high prices from there but i wouldn't want to actually uh say that you know that is definitely going to happen because sometimes you know markets do actually consolidate and it may take uh, a couple of weeks before it actually shows its uh, true uh, the tr uh, where it wants to go basically right so i hope you you guys have actually benefited from this video and thank you so much for joining me and if you like our videos do subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and clicking likes on if you like our videos right so thank you very much rd signing out